Good morning, everyone. Five Farley here, January 28th. We have got a Monday update coming to you. Um, NCAA basketball best bet coming to you here in one second. I also got some leans, some other games to check out, um, as well as an update in my betting online betting life, in my YouTube life. Uh, nice progression here I'm going to get to in one second. Before I do that, though, let me say if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Take a second, hit the notification bell, get my picks as soon as they come out. Um, I appreciate all of you those all of those of you who have um, up to this point. So uh, it's much appreciated. And uh, this new is uh, I have now been uh, on Twitter. So you can follow me at Five Farley uh, on Twitter. I'm going to get some halftime bets on there, uh, some other insights to the games, to the daily best bets that I have, um, as well as on games uh, days like Saturday where there's so much content to put out there. Um, I'll have some more content over on Twitter. So be sure to follow me at Five Farley and uh, uh, get some more content there. All right. So now let's talk about today's slate of games. Oh, first the weekend. All right. The weekend, uh, five and one weekend. We uh, both daily best bets won. Saturday, uh, George Washington won. Both Leans won. Three and oh Saturday sweep. Sunday was uh, Minnesota winning at home over Iowa. They won uh, start to finish. They were leading start to finish, ended up uh, covering, of course. Uh, so it was a nice win. They never ran away with it, but they were always just winning that ball game. So you could tell they, Iowa, good team, but Minnesota more determined uh, in that one. So they come away with the win, especially with the number sitting at minus one uh, for the Golden Gophers. So there you go. Nice win. Uh, also two leans in there, uh, split them to Paul and uh, uh, Seton Hall lost that game. So... Uh, that puts me at 5-1 and one through the weekend. So let's talk about the games here on Monday. First, let's go to the best bet. Best bet of the day is going to be going to... I was really close to look, taking Baylor just because Baylor is surging, and uh, I like that team. I like what they're doing right now. However, I also like Oklahoma, and I have to this point. Um, however, in this one, we're, we're getting six uh, with Baylor, who's surging. Uh, they're, they're, called the last, they're in the last four in, according to ESPN, so... Um, you know, they're, they're obviously doing well. I, I lean on that side, so uh, take that for what it's worth. But I think we have a better opportunity to, to uh, make some cash with TCU. TCU going to Texas Tech. TCU, I think, playing very well. I believe in that, uh, uh, is it Kowat? Is that his first name, Noy? Kowat? Uh, yep. Uh, Kowat Noy is just a, uh, he's a great basketball player. So I uh, watched him, uh, what game did I watch? Oh, against Texas. He was uh, he was really unstoppable. Uh, he dropped 22 against Florida, a great defensive team, uh, and now we're, he's going to need that again here against Texas Tech, another good defensive team. So uh, and I expect him to do so. I think they're going to follow Noy's lead in this one and uh, get another. I think it'll be a victory here. But uh, you know we're getting five in this one, so uh, I like having the extra five point buffer. Uh, going into Lubbock. So uh, now let's look at Texas Tech here. They just lost to they lost to Iowa State, um, losing at Baylor, the surging team, losing at Kansas State, and then just scraping by a home win over Arkansas. Uh, not as tough opponent in the Big 12 uh, SEC challenge as TCU got with Florida, uh, giving them all they can handle. Um, good game in that one. So, you know, winning three of the last four, TCU playing better basketball. Uh, we're grabbing five, going to a Texas Tech team that uh, is struggling here over its last four, uh, only winning one of the last four, and it was against the SEC team, uh, Arkansas. I think TCU's the better team here, especially with a healthy Noy not coming off an, an illness uh, as he was in that uh, um, in that Texas game that I mentioned before. Uh, he was right off an illness. And uh, I just think TCU is a better team. I think they get, they get the win outright, uh, but I'll grab the five, uh, gratefully. So there you go. Best bet of the day is going to be TCU Horn Frogs going into Lubbock. All right, let's talk about a couple other games, though, that are on the board that I've capped. Uh, just to take a look at. Um, when it comes to Duke, Notre Dame, uh, I lean towards Duke. But uh, I'm going to some of these smaller confer conferences. One thing to note, Howard is playing Maryland Eastern Shore. They played each other already once in Maryland Eastern Shore. There's not a lot of home court advantages with these teams out of the MEAC. Um, Howard beat Maryland Eastern Shore 79-39. to They beat them by 40 points and only scored 118 in that game total. 
So now they're back at home, and the line is only 13. Now there's justification if you look at their their schedules on why that's the case. However, if I'm what I'm going to do is watch that 13, see if sharp money comes in on that side, or if it gets faded. Um, based on the embarrassment that Maryland Eastern Shore took and see if they could give it back at Howard, which again, not a huge home court advantage for uh, Howard there. So let's also look at another game that I like a lot, actually. Well, I like it. Uh, I'm going to be taking this game, Arkansas Pine Bluff, at home against Prairie View A&M. Prairie View A&M is 6-0 in the Southwest Athletic Conference. Arkansas Pine Bluff 4-2. Um if we look into this game a little bit deeper, though, while Arkansas, or I mean Prairie View, is sitting on top of the conference, Arkansas Pine Bluff right behind them. Neither one of these teams are right, right home about. Um, but Prairie View A and M, their road victories include uh, at Southern and out at Alcorn State. Um, if you look at the standings, Southern is second to last, Alcorn State third to last. Next up for them. Um, Oh, no, and they also played, there it is, Mississippi Valley State, which is last. So they've played the bottom three teams on the road. Uh, they have not had a challenge yet on the road. Meanwhile, Arkansas Pine Bluff undefeated at home for the entire season. Um, they beat Cal Baptist, which is a fair team, um, at home earlier in the season, uh, as well as everyone else in conference, Alabama A&M, Alabama State, uh, Mississippi Valley, uh, Texas Southern, um, some very good opponents. They've beat them all. Uh, so they're undefeated at home. I think we're getting, uh, we're going to have a really good amped up Arkansas Pine Bluff team to win this game, go to five and two and get within striking distance of the conference lead, uh, having a little bit of home, home court advantage there. So, uh, go with Pine Bluff, or at least that's what I'm doing, going with Pine Bluff here in that matchup. All right. So there you go. You got today's best bet TCU. We got Howard lean Baylor, uh, as well as Arkansas Pine Bluff. So, uh, good luck, everyone, today. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at 5 Farley, and uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you again soon.